everyone, Daryl Lecklin here, Motocross Action Magazine. We're at Glen Helen with 2018 Husqvarna FC450. There's just some minor updates to this bike. Last year, this bike finished second in a shootout. Other magazines had this as the winner. It really depends on the rider you are and what you're looking for in a, in a power band. As this is pretty much identical to the KTM, there is one big change. This air box is sealed up. You can't get much air in this thing, so it's just mellower than the KTM power band, which for a 450, some people like. Some of the revisions to this bike are in the forks. They put a new O-ring in there, as well as there's a ceramic piston that had some issues. They went from a, to a center steel piston. They went to a bigger battery, which is a lot better for cold weather. The smaller battery, you really had to prime the starter and it would sometimes die. The shock and forks are revalved as well. Again, even though this bike is unchanged, very light, has electric start, hydraulic clutch, no tools air box, um, it's really hard to go wrong with the Husqvarna. And as always, we're gonna spend a couple laps and get some feedback on the first impression of the 2018 Husqvarna FC450. major changes on the bike, obviously the suspension and the battery. Uh, it's 105 degrees out here at Glen Helen. Can't really tell if it started better in cold weather. But as far as the suspension, last year it was it was like plush but got pretty far down in the stroke and got uh, harsh. Now they kind of made the initial stroke uh, a little stiffer so it rides up higher. And uh, it was actually more plush and coming up in the corners it didn't dive. Everyone from beginner to, to novice to pro uh, liked the setup a lot better. As far as the shock's concerned, it is uh, revalved a little differently. But it was such a small change, none of our riders can really uh, feel a big difference, at least at least the day one. And as far as the engine, just like last year, this is the most powerful 450, it's 58 horsepower. And if you ride it back to back from the KTM, the KTM feels like it's more powerful, but you gotta remember the airbox, the concealed airbox on this bike, it comes off really kind of just lug, slow, 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 and just keeps on pulling on top. So that 50, 58 horsepower at the very peak, and it's a more linear power band than the KTM. So with that said, if you want to make the power like a KTM, let's drill some holes in the airbox. Same thing with the KTM. If KTM, you just got to plug those holes up on the airbox to make it feel like this bike, at least power-wise. So again, overall, the bike's a great bike. It goes head-to-head -head with the KTM. Uh, it is two pounds heavier than the KTM, but you really can't feel it on the track. Overall, good day of testing, and we're going to go hammer some more laps. And uh, for the full ride-up on this bike, check out a feature issue of Motocross Action Magazine. And as always, go to motocrossactionmag.com for all the latest news and 2018 models and product updates.